<clears throat> What's up YouTube, this is Divine Cheese, here to show you how to install mods on your iPod, um, iPhone, iPad, etc. for Mind Builder. Alright, so first, first you're going to need to get a program called iExplorer for your PC or Mac. So what you're going to need to do is go to, um, go to the internet and type in I explorer right there and it should be the first one it's called or it's I explorer and it's by macroplant so you click it and then depending on whether you have a Mac or a PC sorry for bad filming quality by the way um, just uh, download the program and then once you have that Need to go to mindbuilder.freeforums.org and then scroll down to the mod section because, well, frankly, that's where all the mods are. And so here we have a page full of mods made by the wonderful community we call Mind Builder. And so we're we're going to get mine, Divine Builder. Now this this video may also be a little bit of a um, promo for it. All right. So there's the download link, and I'm I'm not gonna click that because I already have it. But so once you once you once you've downloaded f the files, you go to your downloads, and I guess I'll have to do it. Uh, not Dropbox. What the hell am I doing? Downloads. So then you find. The zip pack should be somewhere in here. And what you need to do is, well, just open it up and I'm going to go to my personal file full of the stuff. So you open it up and here you have all the wonderful files. And, okay. So, after doing so, we open up iExplorer. Open. All right. Alright, come on. Alright, it's done. Help spread the word. Now, sometimes there'll be a glitch where it'll say your device is already connected to five directories, which it hasn't. Alright, so scroll down. Okay, after you've loaded up iExplorer, go ahead and click the minus sign next to media, and then you'll see all your apps under apps. Go to com.brammy.mindbuilder, which you see is already open, and open up the mindbuilder.app folder. It takes it a second. Now, after you've done so, select all the files, and then drag them, holy crap, 106, drag them into the iExplorer window. Alright, and then... It'll ask you if you want to replay, delete speci specified files. Just click OK for all of them, because it's just replacing them. To... It'll ask you a lot less because, well, some of these XMLs here will be new to yours, and it's replacing all of pretty much every file I've got installed on here. Uh... Oh, there we go. All right. So, oh, well, we got more. Oh, oh it keeps going. So many. God dang it. Holy crap. Alright. We're into the enchanted tools now. Uh, holy crap. I say, there happens to be a lot of files. <sighs> We're almost done here. There we go. Alright, now that all that's over with, we go to our wonderful iPods. So we 
sorry, passcode. Alright, so first off you gotta close you gotta close out mind builder. Okay. Sorry, having a hard time. Alright, and now we run mind builder. So as you can see here now, sorry, I have a I seem to have a glitch where it always resets the controls. So you see here now, alright, let's go to just go to this world. Now you have your mod. Now, now I'm going to be doing a little bit of a promo for my mod, so because I have to say it's pretty awesome. But if you want to stop watching now, that's fine because now you know how to install a mod. Dang it! This is hard to do. Just using the time command. All right. Yeah, that that's not part of the mod. That's actually programmed into the game. Switch hands. All right. So here. You might be wondering why I'm not using both thumbs. Well, that's that's simply because I can't um uh, I can't hold an iPod and record and play at the same time. All right, now you'll see. You know the sword looks kind of crappy, but right now I'm actually working on updating the tool textures, which you can't see that very well. But it's a very very nice looking tool. I, if I do say so myself, it's semi 3D, so I've seen a lot of people complain that, that the items look like paper cutouts. And well, as you can see here, my mod adds glowstone, some nice little chairs, tables, there's some dressers. That block right there is the iron block, which I'm changing that. Here we got a TV, new colors of wood, all that fun stuff. All right. Over here, we have regular furnace, you know, because, well, a lot of people want furnaces and a cheat furnace. And what the cheat furnace does is you put coal and some item in there, and you have a hundred of that, or uh, you have a hundred of the smelted item. So let's say you want a hundred glass. Well, put a coal and sand in there, and you got a hundred glass. And you may, be one, you may also be wondering what these blocks are. Ah, oh, dang it. Sorry, I... Having a hard time seeing the thumb. Okay, there we go. Those are vending machines. And how they work is you have an ATM right here which you put um, money items into in like different combinations to make different tiers of money. Then you use these different ATMs to buy stuff. So, say, I'm going to sell some, you can also sell, so I'm going to sell some of my TNT to the block vendor and you see. There we have ten one dollar bills, or maybe not ten, but okay. So that's all I'm really going to show you for that part. And there's some other neato 